All right, it is probably among the more closely, if not the most closely scrutinized company uh, when it comes to the earnings parade, the middle of which we're in. Uh, Apple out with better than expected numbers, lifting the stock right now. Alan Nuckman and Jonas Max Ferris on the significance of that. Uh, Alan, what do you think? Oh, it's all about Apple. Everybody keeps an eye on uh, this as a barometer of, of the market. Obviously, it has a large impact if you look at all our indexes because it's very heavily weighted. This could be the phase two of this relief rally. The rest of the market has bounced back, whereas Apple's been stuck awaiting this earnings. They weren't disappointed, and we're seeing an initial reaction that's positive. Uh, let's see if it can build on these gains. It's a stock that's been stuck between 140 and 160. That targets 180 on a bit of a bounce here. So I'm rather optimistic, and I think uh, everybody's going to realize how much money Apple truly makes every quarter. You know, everyone's been waiting for technology to come back. Apple was one of the dragging soldiers, so to speak, Jonas, and now this could be a sign that it will have a comeback month as well. But what do you make of it? No, it's only up slightly because they've been lowering expectations for months very true, now. Very this, true. this business model stopped growing, at least the core business of selling the phones. And this is the first time that their uh, growth was actually down since they launched the phone over, you know, 2007, I believe it was. So this is not good, but it's better than we expected marginally, like a penny right. a share. So, again, that's great for the stock right now. But this, this company has problems. Luckily, they're squeezing money out of the existing monopoly, which is services to the installed user base. All right. But earnings are, we're, what, about a third of the way through this process. Most of them are beating the estimates. And I think, Alan, uh, by, by a pretty large amount, how do you judge earnings season thus far? Well, I think this can be a relief rally. Like I said, a secondary catalyst for the market comeback after that extreme low that we've had in December. Uh, I think everybody was waiting to see exactly what happened here. They still sold 50 million phones. So, uh, you know, we're talking about a lot of phones here. They're, Apple's uh, still doing very, very well. We can't state that enough. I mean, their revenue was in more than $80 billion. Yes, it was knocked down. They knocked down expectations, but that's what this game sometimes is. So let's see what the next step is, but I'd rather be a, a positive, rather than be bullish on that stock at these levels. We've come back to the level where we were in 2017, and we broke out above 150. So let's see if that holds as a long-term support. It's at a discount, and I still think it's a healthy company. Uh, any freeze to worry about with the government again? What do you think, Jonas? Uh, they, they are having some problems abroad. That's most of their business. Look, people buy tech stocks for growth. They're not utility companies. These companies aren't growing quite the way they used to, and the stock, that's why the Nasdaq's down. And it wasn't that oh, right. bad, but it, it wasn't good enough to turn everything around either. Guys, I want it's to thank still you both. Apple. Uh, you're right. It's still Apple. <laughs> uh, and bacon is still a very popular